everybody. We're playing True or False 2 You did today. it wrong. You did it wrong. Hello, everybody. My name is T-Top. No, I don't say that. It's welcome. Hello, everybody, and welcome to True right. or False 2. Hello, everybody. Welcome to True or False 2. 2. I'm Sarah, and I'm here playing with T-Top because he invited me to hang out a little bit. She invited me. This is her channel. What? So this is a fun little True or False game given by the title. More. That's true. <laughs> if you can't figure that out by the title, that's what it is. There was, there was a free version of this that came out a couple months ago, a couple weeks ago, it was a couple months ago. And now this version was on sale for like 75 cents. And we thought we'd do it. We put our collective brains together and figure out what is true and what is false. The most common passwords of 2016 are 123456, 123567, and QWERTY. Do you know what QWERTY is? Yeah, that's the QWERTY keyboard. Oh, okay. Duh. Um. I'd like to think people aren't that lazy. It's true. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. Oh, it's horrible. At least it's not password. That's true. <laughs> a crazy peacock is called a peanut. False. False? You don't Maybe? think a peanut? That sounds strange. I don't I don't I'm Call my sister. She worked at a zoo with peacocks. You just phone a friend? <laughs> phone a friend. Alright, well, with false. Obviously. Obviously. Well, <laughs> It's mocking me. Hodor is the name of the Norse god of winter. I don't think uh, so. I don't think so. Well, Hodor is a character from Game of Thrones. I'm sorry, I song of ice, 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 ice and iron, ice and fire, <laughs> rice and salsa. And the Norse gods I can think of are Odin, Thor, Loki. I don't Those are the think only ones I know. so. No, let's go with false. It might be a misdirection. True. Deal with it. Okay, oh, Hodor is a Norse fine. god. William Shakespeare wore earrings. I feel like this is a misdirect because well, William Shakespeare might not have even been a single person, right? Wasn't he supposed to be like a yeah? And well, unlike any portrait of him, he's not wearing earrings. Okay, I think that's just modern adaptations. Let's go with false. Tr Damn it! Damn it! We're All not right. Well, I hope it tells us how many we got wrong, how many got right by the end. You can drink as much water as you want. Well, won't you eventually get water intoxication? Yeah, you can't drink as much water as you want. False. Yes. Yay! From water, fatal water overdoses. All right, fact number six. Chickens have self-control, distinct personalities, inability to logically reason. I know some birds can do that. Like, have you seen those experiments where they have like a cup of water and mm -hmm. that's like something the crow wants, so the crow drops stuff in it to raise the water level? Like, crows yeah. are supposed to be really smart. So crows, chickens, you know. What do we want to go with on this? I say true because I agree. I feel like it's like a misdirect. And they are dinosaurs. Several true. recent Woo. studies have proven the fact. Yay! Cool. There is an island in the Bahamas inhabited only by swimming pigs. True! true. <laughs> Why do we both know that? Well, for me, it was on an episode of The Bachelor. <laughs> <sighs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. Harry Potter was the most banned book in the U.S. for 2001, 2002. I think, sure. wasn't it banned in schools for a little? Like, you weren't supposed you aren't supposed to teach it in schools? I feel like it's not the most it's banned, It's not like Fahrenheit though. 451 or... Or Catcher in the Rye Catcher in the Rye. Banned. Catcher in the Rye stupid. Ugh. <laughs> I hate that book. I'll admit it's not my favorite. It's stupid. I doubt, well, I doubt that it was the most banned. Let's go with False. True, for the reasons being anti-family, occult, Satanism, religious viewpoint, and violence, that's... What? How is it Satanist? Because it's non-Christian religion. They, ugh. That is not... Anything that's not Judeo-Christian faith is satanic. Life's the lifespan of a squirrel is about 20 years. I feel like that's... false. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. I mean, nine years. Still nine is... I, I was about was, to say that because I'm like a large a rat. All polar bears are Irish. I think we just made the same face. Oh! <laughs> uh, I'm Irish, but I'm not a polar bear. There are so many fallacies in there. Uh, Wait, that's, <laughs> that's Popeye, not I Irish. I don't know why you're being Popeye. I don't know why I'm being Irish. Uh... False. This is just a weird question. True, the racist set from brown bears live in Ireland over 25,000 years ago. I feel like they're that's playing fast stupid. and loose with the definition of Irish. Well, that's like technically I'm not Irish. My ancestors were Irish. Exactly. No, that's I dumb. You're descended from Ireland. You got 60%. Uh -huh. Oh, you little penguin. Oh, he's cute. so cute. Banana was the first fruit eaten on the moon. Ooh. I don't 
know. I don't know anything about that. Hmm. I mean, it kind of makes sense because it's one of like the least juicy fruits, so you mm. wouldn't have to worry about you know fruit juice going everywhere. And it's kind of self-contained. Let's go with shrew. False. First fruit when was a peach. New Hampshire was all during the first meal on the moon during the Apollo 11 flight. If they land on the sea of tranquility, dang it! You stupid little penguin, you smug little bastard. <laughs> okay, China has banned time travel on TV. True. What? What? Just say why. It's supposed to be like all movies about time travel. Strange. So TV's fine. Oh, oh wait. I'm confused because it asked if it's banned in TV, but they blocked it in movies, but not TV. That makes no sense. That's weird. I feel like that one. That one was dumb. La La Land is broken back for most Golden Globes wins ever. You just saw that. I did just see last that. night. <laughs> do I don't think? know if it's broken. I think so, but I'm not positive about that. I know it got a lot. You click on it then. <laughs> and uh, true. Yay! Wow. Damn it. Well, I'm now now I'm kind of pissed I didn't go with you. I mean, I enjoyed it, but I think people built it up so much that it was like impossible for it to totally meet my expectations. That makes sense. Okay. And it's got Ryan Gosling in it. <sighs> I prefer Ryan Reynolds. Get out. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you would agree with me. Yeah, I would. <laughs> More people live in Tokyo than in all of Canada. I would go with true. No. No? That's Canada has like a couple dozen million people. I yeah. say false. False. What? Told you. What? Jesus. I Good told God. you. I'm sorry. It's freaking Canadian. Whatever. Who needs to know anything about Canadians? <laughs> Smug little panda or why does it panda penguin? <laughs> That's not a panda. They're black and white and they're winter. I'm gonna be carrying the team, aren't My I? Pandas aren't winter. <laughs> uh, pig is the only animal besides humans that can get sunburn. That's that's why they roll in mud. It's true. I was about to say that sounds yep. correct. I hope. <laughs> what? God damn it! <laughs> oh! Let's see how this gets sunburn the record of Oh. I feel like I was led astray. I'm sorry. I'm gonna start letting you take the lead, okay? okay. You start reading them and speak up. All right. The price of admission for a zoo in eight. 18th century England was a dog or a cat? Yes. Okay. True. They were fed to the lions. Oh. <laughs> I actually read that on Reddit the other day. That's just sad. Oh, they played the uh, preview for A Dog's Purpose and I almost cried. God damn that movie. I know. Like, I don't want to, like, I refuse to see some movies because they revolve around a dog dying. Like, I haven't seen John Wick, even though I've heard it's awesome. I don't want to watch a movie just about dogs dying. <laughs> yeah, my friend literally was crying from the preview. <laughs> like, it was, I, there's no way I can make it through that whole movie. In 1991, I was gorillas. It's the year of my birth. It's a good year. Woo woo. Gorillas were trained to use cell phones by Brazilians. Cell phones in 1991? Well, I guess they would be big enough for gorillas to use. That's true. They're like those giant brick like things. I don't know. What do you think? I'm gonna let you take this one because I don't know nothing about it. They can do sign language. I'm not surprised. I wouldn't be surprised if they could do phones. So how many phones do they have? A Brazilian. <laughs> <laughs> we'll try to choose. So lonely. What the hell? Lies, lies, lies. Uh -huh. <laughs> you stupid penguin. Antarctica is not a desert. Antarctica is a desert. So false. False. It's not a desert. They're trying to trick you with a <laughs> double negative. Yes. And Arctic is actually cold as because it rarely sees rain. Yeah, I knew that. I'm smart. Alligator teeth are hollow. I know snakes' teeth are because that's how they get the poison. Yeah, I don't know if alligator teeth would be though. They don't. They're not venomous. Come here, gator. <laughs> Luckily, we have one right here. <laughs> ah! Let's go for it. True. Yes. <laughs> I don't know. I don't feel when like I it's said false. go for it, I wasn't sure. False then. This is on you. Damn it. Oh, I was right. Uh, oh. Oh, that makes sense. That's interesting. They need their cool. chompers. They do need their chompers. Humans have so many things that make us vulnerable. Like, lucky we're smart. <laughs> For the most part. Some of us. <laughs> there are no vitamins with letters F through J. That's. I think that's true. A, B, C, D, E. And then we... And then, and then F... I've never heard of a vitamin G or H. Okay. Yeah, I think that's true. I'm sorry. Ah. Let's go for it. Hey! They were reclassified over time. Uh, okay. 
Nice. 40%. Oh, we oh. did even worse. Okay, we gotta get at least a, a C. You probably want like a B or an A. I like I'm okay A's. With, I'm okay with a C. I want A. Snowflakes take about an hour to reach the ground. Well, let's check. <laughs> I think they mean from first formation. Yes, I know. Um... I'm so afraid to get it wrong. I know, that uh, stupid porcupine's gonna judge us. Is it a porcupine or a hedgehog? Look how, look at the size difference between us talking. I <laughs> can't help it. Talk louder, Sarah. I have no lung capacity. Yeah. Terrible excuse. I feel like I've heard that somewhere, but I don't know if an that was actually hour? an accurate oh, source. Man. Let's go with, yeah, maybe they're being like blown up or something. Hey! Yay! <laughs> 25, 60 minutes. We did it! All right, first one down. Woo! Come on, 10 out of 10 right now. An Italian man dressed male frogs in tight-fitting pants. That sounds like something that would happen. Yeah. Those Italians, man. <laughs> Yay! His name was... Lazaro <laughs> Spallanzani? He was a biologist. Is biologist spelled right? It is not. Okay. <laughs> Take that, game. Yeah, that is entirely wrong. Okay. Tisk, tisk, tisk. Badgers can't attack humans. I feel like that's a... Yeah, false. False. Honey badger. Yeah, according to BBC, badgers can't attack humans. So there you go. I don't see why not, you know? Where's Cormac's badger? Cormac is a toy badger. It attacks me sometimes. I think it was in the guest room. Its name is Bucky. India has 122 major languages. I'm pretty sure that's true. I think so. Yeah. I mean, there's so many people. True. Oh my. Jesus. Jesus. What? <laughs> 1500, over 1500 other oh languages. My Damn. God. <laughs> that's a weird question. Right, whatever. We got it, though. Yeah. We're on a roll. Keep right. going. There are 1,000 years in a light year. No, a no, light year is not distance. Correct. That's One light, light year is 186,000 miles per second. Oh, no, that's the speed of light. <laughs> light year is li a distance, yeah. not time. A light year is, I think it's 5 million miles, something like that. It's like roughly around that. I guess I could calculate it because 186,000 miles per second, 60 seconds in a minute. Whatever. I don't, whatever. I think it's like going. 5 million or something. 300,000 kilometers per second is the speed. Bulls hate red. That's not actually true, I think true, that's a right? myth. That's a myth. You know, didn't they do that in Mythbusters? Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure that they don't actually hate red. It's just that that's a, lo a color that they can sense yeah, or something like that. let's go with like that. that. False. False. Yay! Hey! Oh, they're Whee! colorblind, yeah. Oh, it gets you. Interesting. I wonder how that started then. Probably just coincidence. Like the yeah, methodors. Yeah, because I, I thought like it, like they have the cloth. It's just like the cloth movement that yeah. distracts them, not actually the color. And they're probably the traditionally red. Yeah. The opposite of blacksmith is a whitesmith. I feel like that's stupid, but yes. I I don't know what a whitesmith would be. Like a blacksmith someone, is metalwork. So it would be someone who melts metal? So so does a blacksmith. I feel but like this is false. Okay. I feel like this is false. True! Damn it! Light colored metals, particularly tin. Oh, because blacksmith's going to be things like, probably like iron. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm we sorry. Had a perfect Don't look score. at me. Don't look at me. It's Damn okay. you. It's, we got one wrong. The Kremlin still uses floppy disks. That has to be false. I hope that's false. I don't know. They're pretty terrible. Do you know what the Kremlin is? Yes, I know what the Kremlin okay. is. Okay. They're not gremlins, Sarah. Kremlin. <laughs> I've never seen the move like the gremlin movie or anything I. like that. Gremlin still uses floppy disks. Well, I mean, it's they're... possible they still have data stored on floppy disks. Well, the people like there's like we've seen that in movies and TVs where people use super outdated things to protect things because they can't be hacked. True. So this feels like one of those times. Yeah. Plus, again, like I said, data like data storage. They might not convert everything. Mm -hmm. Let's go with true. Come on, baby. False. Oh. Uh, Pentagon still uses floppy disks. Oh. Take that, Kremlin. That's disappointing. You jerks. All right. All right, ACDC guitarist Angus Young has played a guitar while his amp was on fire. I gotta believe that's I wanna true. believe that, yeah. That would make me happy. We're gonna well, go Well, Angus. Yay! Yay! Nice, let that be rock. Nice. All right, I last, can dig it. last question. 
Last question. Twenty seven is no. Uh, twenty is the M, right? No, no M is a thousand. So, so this would be like. Because there's a seven. No, there's, a, there's no seven. All I see is a six or a four. Well, this okay. So M is a thousand. L is a fifty. V is a five. But I don't. What is D? Um, I I, don't, I think it's false. You think it's false? I think it's false. That doesn't. Fingers crossed. Right. Come on. Yes. Yes. Yeah, because yeah, you have the two M's. Two M's for two thousand. Nice. And then a seven and a ten. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. So. Sweet. Eighty percent. We got a B. Ah. Oh, nice. I can deal with a B, I suppose. Oh yeah. All right, one more. One more. We got. We can get an A, Sarah. We went from a sixty to a forty to an eighty. Two thousand sixteen hottest year in record. True. True. Yes. Take that, people who don't think global warming. Take that, thing. Donald Trump, you punk ass bitch. <laughs> I was going slightly more politically no, correct, but yeah. that guy. Actually, in re retrospect, I was targeting everyone who doesn't believe in global warming. Yes, but. which she falls in the conclusion. Okay, the Roman Empire was the largest empire in history. False. Uh, British Empire. Yeah, it's false. Larger. Right? Yeah. Woo! 28th largest empire in history. Wow. Damn. I don't think I could come up with. Che Guevara came mm. from an Irish family. Oh, Che Guevara, the old Irish name. Hi. <laughs> Top I of the like morning. I'm trying to trick us che on purpose. Guevara. Well, Irish family. Well, the polar bears are Irish, Sarah, so it makes sense that Tre Che Guevara was Irish, so yes. Nice. Hey! Argentina has almost <laughs> one million people of Irish descent. <laughs> so, All right. Is Che Guevara a polar bear, <laughs> true or false? <laughs> Maybe. All right. Not bad. Charles Darwin and Abraham Lincoln were born on the exact same day. This, guy, this is on you. Oh. Would have been early 1800s. Tape? Yeah, it's close. It's sad because there's definitely a movie I watched recently where the past someone's password was Charles Darwin's birthday, and I can't remember really? what the birthday was. Yeah. Um, I think it's like in May or something. I think it's true. It seems like it would be. True. Yeah. Ah. Oh, February. Okay. February. 12th, Look, early early 19th century. I was right. Look at me go. Apples are organically from Poland. Originally. Originally. <laughs> I don't know where my glasses. Here. Oh, that's much better. Oh yes, originally. He's the you know wiper oh, blades. Oh, my wiper blades was it? That's hard. Oh. You're supposed to no. You do it with like two fingers, down. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> I give up. Okay. Apples are organic. Originally. <laughs> okay, originally. <laughs> oh, originally. Okay. From Poland. I have no idea. I have no clue either. Flip a coin? I would believe it, but I'm not sure. Poland? I don't really seem like a climate for growing apples. That's true. No, false. 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 Yeah. Yes! Kazakhstan! Kazakhstan. Home of, homeland of Borat. That's its one redeeming feature, Kazakhstan. Jesus. It's an interesting Do you know why so many uh, Middle Eastern countries end in Stan? Por qué? Because it has Arabic for the land. Oh. I think. I'm pretty sure. Let's go. If you're not right, I'm sure a lot of people will correct you a little bit. <laughs> I'm not right. <laughs> uh, maybe that question will be here. Mark Twain had a twin brother named Bill Twain. You're you're a literary woman. That means I read his books, not that I know his life story. No. I didn't think Mark Twain had siblings, but I don't know about that. That's just a gut feeling. I want everyone to be an only child like me. <laughs> Except not really. <laughs> I have no idea. I have no idea either. We should have brought a coin in here so we can. Okay, like... We're gonna flip the SD card. All right. So, okay. true, false. Okay. Yeah. True. Bill Twain. Seriously doubt it though. <laughs> no. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh yeah. Duh. What was his name? Oh my God. What was his real name? I don't know, but I I've... should have remembered that. Ah, that wasn't his actual I've name. I stayed in the Mark Twain Hotel in San Francisco twice. Ah, what was his name? I don't remember. Greater percentage Dutch people speak English than Canadians. I would say true. Yeah. I've never met a Dutch person who didn't speak English. Also, at least to some degree. Because French Canada is the best Canada. <laughs> All right. 85% of Canadians do. Nice. Take that, Canada. The mouse can have 150 babies every year. Poor, poor mouse. Uh... I wouldn't be that surprised, right? Because they have a pretty large litter. 
and then they short can, gestation, just, yeah, short period. gestation period. Yeah, short gestation period. I don't think it's like a seasonal thing. Let's go with true. Show me mouse babies. Woo! Wow. 12, 12 babies, babies every, every three, three weeks. weeks. Holy crap. Two months old. Damn. Those mice get busy. Next one. In Cleveland, Ohio, it's legal to catch mice without a hunting license. That doesn't seem like a real thing. That seems like one of those old laws. Maybe like enforced by... <laughs> the the pest control union. <laughs> I'm, I, I say I say true. You think true? I think true. Yes. Ohio is a wacky place. Yep. Oh, obviously, the law is not highly enforced. That is true. There's a lot of old laws that have never been overturned or legislated over. Be just. I'm pretty sure in Arizona it's illegal to eat ice cream on public sidewalks. I think it's one I remember from a long time ago. I'm wondering why. Is it because it's messy? Like I don't know. Distracting. Probably probably something due to racism. You know, Taco was invented in Tacoma, Washington. That's gotta be false. I Taco isn't like originally Mexican though. I know, but Tacoma, like, what's Tacoma got other than an, an airport? <laughs> Damn it, this is the last one too. Oh, we already missed one, right? Did we only miss one? I don't remember. Crap. Taco was invented in Tacoma, Washington. Oh, I have no idea. I'm gonna leave this one up to you. You choose. I don't know, cause I don't think it's true, but it's dumb enough it could be true. Pressure's on, girl. We're gonna go with... I don't know. Don't look at me. My... <laughs> I feel like it's false. I don't know though. That's not helping. Ah! I see everything! <laughs> <laughs> so that means you can help me, perfect. Oh, damn. Uh, <laughs> fine, let's go with false. I think it's a misdirection because they're like, oh, the tacos in Tacoma. Yes! Oh, yeah! Nailed it! Alright, what do we get? What do we get? Oh, what? Well, how many facts were there? <laughs> Apparently more than ten. Okay. An eagle's nest can weigh as much as two tons. That's gotta be false, right? Let's go with false. There's no way. That's 4,000 uh, pounds. Uh, what? Jesus! God damn, that's a lot of sticks! A depth of 20 feet? So they just probably just kept piling stuff on. Maybe it was like an OCD eagle, which just needed like a metric butt ton. Uh, pyramids of Egypt from space. Yeah. You can't see the Great Wall of China, but you can see the pyramids of Egypt, Egypt because they have a bigger footprint. True. Yeah. Cool. NBD. It cost $300 million to build the Titanic and $100 million to make a film about it. Wasn't it like the other way around? Did the film cost more? I would think so, especially false. those different time periods. Yeah. What was that, adjusted for inflation? Yes! Yeah, $7 million. I was to about it. to say, I was like, I don't think that was adjusted for inflation. Oh, God. That's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah, because it's different time periods, that would make sense. Well, maybe that was even adjusted for inflation. Chickens that number humans, three to one. So many chicken facts. Um, That's gotta be fun. Well, we don't know, do we? Well, I well, the, feel like it's There false. are six chickens right behind me in this room, so... Maybe. Math, math checks. <laughs> Let's go with... I think it's true. You think it's true? I think it's true. A butt ton of chickens. Yep. Damn. Holy hell, it's a lot of chickens. Yeah. It's actually what people recommend for the best way to reduce carbon emission uh, is to cut Chicken. down on beef. Chicken instead of beef? Yep. Um, they are for the smaller. same amount of meat, or even the same amount of meat, like it takes um, ninety percent more carbon dioxide. Oh, interesting. For the process of cow meat to feed them, for them poop. What is that word? I don't know. Ocapis. O Ocapis. Oh, is it like Ocapibara? Bara? Sometimes eat charcoal. I feel like it's. Mm. I I'm gonna look it up. I think we've earned it because we don't, like everything else. We at least knew what I was talking about. I feel like it is. It's like that giant rat. What the hell is that thing? What? <laughs> Okapi is a giraffe artiodactyl mammal native to the northeast of the Democratic Republic of Congo. It looks like a rain, like a kangaroo mixed with a zebra mixed with a deer. <laughs> it's so weird. Do we think it sometimes eats charcoal? <laughs> I don't know. It's this weird animal. Uh, yeah. I mean, sometimes, like, horses lick, like, things that are salty. Yeah. Is that... Well, they, uh, horses like to bite down and, like, suck on things. It's called, like, cribbing. True. Woo! We 
guessed entirely. Yay! <laughs> and we didn't look it up at the eight charcoal, we just looked up what they were. Yeah. They first explored Discover America. Hell wow. no. Womp womp. False. Yep. Happy Leaf Erickson Day. <laughs> Leave a bottle, be in a bottle. You don't know what that's from. No, I from don't. SpongeBob. He celebrates Leaf Erickson Day and he wears like Viking horns and beard and goes, Leave a bottle, leave a bottle. Yeah. She misses out on high culture. All right, next question. How many are in this round? I don't know. It's been a lot. Dogs can be trained in sign language. Open the door. <laughs> We're going to find out. Come here. Come here, buddy. Come here. Come here. Come here. Oh, he's got to get a toy. Come here. Give me that rope. Give me that. You give me that rope. Come here. You want it? You want it? Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here, you little stinker. Okay. Okay, we're gonna teach you sign language, all, all right. right? Ah! I'll just, you know, I'll sign his name, Adam. Do you and know see. how? Yeah. Oh, you're gonna do it. And see if he responds. I don't remember K. I think this is K. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he seems fairly interested. Or I could tell him to eat poop and die. Uh, sign food. I don't know how to sign the act. Or, oh, mm, I know how to do it's... eat. <laughs> this experiment <laughs> is going nowhere. Kermik, do you know sign language? Do you? Do you know sign language? Do you? Mwah! Ah! <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, that was pointless. But we put the cute dog in the video, so win-win. I'm gonna say probably. <laughs> probably? Okay, do it. Like I know gorillas can. Like Coco the gorilla. Woo! Wow. Better at learning visual commands than spoken ones. That's true. He learns pretty well when you do like the thing for sit. Oh yeah. Also, when I flip him off, he looks a little insulted. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. He looks a little bit upset about it. <laughs> he just goes like, ah. More bullets were fired in the Matrix than in any other movie ever made. Maybe? But, but they're blanks. Are they on real bullets or blanks? Yeah, I don't know if they mean like bullets depicted being fired let's or see, actually. Let's go with true. I think it's true. I mean, there was a lot of gunfire in the movie. False! Actually, more bullets were fired in Starship Troopers than oh, any yeah. other movie ever made. I love Starship Troopers. Oh my god. Rico's Roughnecks. Ooh -rah. Love that movie. You've never seen it. No. Oh my god, we're going to watch that. Just Super Troopers. Right now. Sasha Trues is way better. <laughs> oh, they're both great. Mosquitoes are attracted to lighter colors. I know that they're attracted to... I think they're attracted to people with, like, different... They're always diets. after me because I'm so sweet. <laughs> uh, true. Or they're attracted to people with different blood types or something along those lines. Oh, darker colors. Oh. Fine. What do we know? There goes our A. A starfish have... have Eight, eight eyes. eyes has eight eyes. Um, do they have any eyes? I mean, I'm I'm gonna say they got stuff going on. I feel like no, because they're a pretty simple organism. Let's go with false. It's probably true. Yep. Damn it. Oh yeah, they got eyes at that. Oh yeah. That's crazy. <sighs> that's that's crazy. Okay, this is the last one. And seventy-five percent. God damn it. We were doing so well for the first 10. Nah. It turns out there's 20. Oh, man. Oh, well. Well, that's going to be it for this video on True or False 2, guys. If you enjoyed, hit the like button, leave a comment, leave something, let us know. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.